Hey, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Corgi. I stream on Twitch, and on this channel, we go over streaming tips, tech talks, corgis, cooking, and more. So if you're interested in that, make sure to hit the subscribe button for more of my content. Here's a corgi butt behind me. He's back there. Oh, he's so cute. Okay. Today in this video, we're going to talk about Rocket's new Cone Pro Air, their new gaming mouse. Now, disclaimer, Rocket did give me this item to try, and I'm going to give you my honest opinion and impressions. If you didn't know, Rocket is Turtle Beach's PC peripheral brand. Rocket first debuted their Cone mouse 13 years ago, and since then, they've been renovating their design and functionality. I've been looking to get a new mouse for quite some time now, so when I got the Cone Pro Air, I was super excited. Okay, let's grab our Cone Pro mouse. We're gonna do the unboxing. We're gonna admire the packaging, do our oohs and our ahs. The packaging, of course, looks great. It's small and compact. Main features and selling points are, of course, highlighted on the box. Now, I opted for the Cone Pro Air because I've been wanting a wireless mouse for quite some time now. I've been doing my cooking streams lately and my current mouse does not reach. The wire is not long enough, so I've been dying to get a wireless mouse. Now, let's open this bad boy up. Okay, so here's the packaging. We're gonna take the mouse out of the box. Now I did cheat already. I opened this a couple days ago to play around with it, but I wanted to do the unboxing with you all. Right out of the box, the mouse feels really nice. Super lightweight, I guess, hence the Pro Air. It weighs only 75 grams. Now, if you're like an FPS player and you're looking for a more lighter weight mouse, they do have the Cone Pro, which is I think around 66 grams. That one is their lightest weight mouse. Now we have some options. You can either plug it in via USB-C or for the wireless function, you can use the Bluetooth option or the 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi option. Now, I don't have Bluetooth on my computer. Uh, that's a long story. So we're gonna use the USB dongle and see how that is. They do advertise driver-free setup, so we don't have to worry about downloading anything. And it should be fairly pretty easy. This is their dongle right here. I'm gonna pop this out and just put it into my USB drive. And then on the back of the mouse, you're gonna turn on the Wi-Fi option. And, ooh, I don't know if you can see this. It's really bright right now, but it is, oh, and it was lit, there you go. You can kind of see it, I'm sorry. It's really bright in here. <laughs> I have the sun and all my lighting on me. Okay, it's working. It worked immediately. There was nothing to install. I didn't have to do anything, which is great. Very easy to do. The lights are already appearing, the RGB lights on there. Oh, also, my mouse pad is missing right now because I threw it in the washer to clean up for this video. Now, I did want to talk about the design. I did choose a white mouse, but this does come in a black as well if you prefer it. We'll see how the white holds up after months of use because I do admit I rarely clean my mouse and I should probably clean it more often. I'm not a huge fan of the crazier design gaming mouses that are out there. They can be a little bit too loud and tacky for me, so I do appreciate this more minimal, cleaner design that they have. The side of the mouse has these divots to allow for your thumb and your pinky to rest on, which is really nice. It's an ergonomic mouse, if you can see the little hump right there. There are some grooves in the divots, but they're not pronounced enough to really give it an actual grip. So it could be that it's possibly just for pure design purposes, or maybe they try to do both. But in my opinion, the grip is not really, it doesn't really do much. <laughs> Now the side buttons here are amazingly large. I really do appreciate them making this larger because my current mouse, let me just show you what it looks like. I'll just show you how gross it is. It's okay, it's fine. So this is my current mouse right here. Now these side buttons are more flush with the mouse. They don't protrude out and I don't really like that because I feel like they're harder to click on. Yeah, it's dirty because I, I usually have makeup on my hands. <laughs> So compared to my old mouse, these are definitely more prominent and unchallenging to click, which I do love. I'd like to point out that this mouse is not ambidextrous as it would be pretty awkward to hold this in your left hand, unless you somehow got it figured out. I do wish that Rocket would make an MMO mouse with more side buttons, just so it would allow for more macro settings. Comment below if you agree. Next, let's talk about the scroll wheel. Initially, my first impression was that I did think it looked a little bit cheap. However, 
However, I do understand they're trying to go for the lighter design, which is why the scroll wheel is hollowed out. Also made of lightweight aluminum. And I do appreciate the buttery smooth feel as you're scrolling this up and down. Also, the scroll bar is really nice and wide, so it makes it easier for your fingers to find it. The ripples, or I'm not really quite sure what the proper term is for this, but we'll go with it. But it's very nicely spaced together. My old mouse, the ripples were just further apart and I just didn't like that. Complaints that I did commonly hear about this mouse was that the hump was not high enough, I guess for a more cupped feel. It doesn't bother me too much, but I guess it could be nicer if it was a little bit more higher, but you are supposed to hold this mouse with your palms laying flat. Now, flipping it over, we're welcome with the blue heat-treated PTFE glides. I'll be honest with you, I didn't know what PTFE stood for, so I kind of just Googled it. You can tune me out for the next 30 seconds if you're not interested, but in the meantime, you can give me a thumbs up while you're waiting, or if you're like me, if you're interested in learning, continue listening on. So PTFE stands for polytetrafluoroethylene, which is also known as Teflon. PTFE is designed for low frictional resistance, which is perfect for gliding your mouse over your pad for gaming. We want quick reaction and we want to minimize delay. Now, why do we care if it's heat treated or not? I'm not really sure. It might be a marketing tactic to make it sound cooler and it worked. I also don't know if it's common for wireless mice to have this, but there is a little storage space for the USB dongle as well. So you take the dongle and you can just insert it right in there, voila! It's great if you travel or if you just stay at home and you don't wanna worry about losing this thing because that would really suck. Now my complaint about this, it is kinda hard to get out. I wish they put in some grooves just so you can use your nails to catch it and just pull it out. But I have really uh, sweaty hands so this is kinda hard to pull out and well, it was pretty easy just now. Earlier, I struggled a lot. <laughs> Maybe I just got good at it then. So underneath the mouse, there are two buttons, one for profiles. You can have up to five profiles on here, which you can switch between, and that's gonna be available for configuration on Rocket's Swarm program. The other button that we have here is for the connectivity, whether you wanna do Wi-Fi, you wanna turn the mouse off, or Bluetooth. I did read somewhere that the 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi connectivity is better than the Bluetooth in terms of response time. So gamers, make sure you all keep that in mind. The Cone Pro mouse is also equipped with Rocket's Owl Eye 19K DPI sensor, allowing for more precision and accuracy. It's also equipped with a Titan Switch optical, touting its magnificent use in FPS and action games, where they market lightning fast clicks with 100 million click cycles. Is that right? 100 million yeah 100 million click life cycle now i love to sit here and click this 100 million times for you all and demonstrate this but we'll probably save that for next time for a mr beast like video in the future so for now we'll just take their word for it there is limited rgb lighting panels on here as well that you can configure on the rocket swarm program but you probably won't be able to see it too much anyways because your fingers are probably going to be covering it it's just more if your mouse is just sitting there on your desk it looks kind of pretty when the RGB light is turned on, it does illuminate the honeycomb design. I hope you can see it on here. <laughs> Again, I'm sorry, it's daytime right now. We'll do nice B-roll shots for you. I don't care for it too much, but I guess it kind of does look kind of cool. The Cone Air does advertise 100 plus hours of battery life, but I do want to point out this is without the RGB colors. They do have a rapid charge technology where you plug in the USB-C cable and within 10 minutes of charge, it allows for five hours of battery life. So that's pretty awesome. This USB-C is known as a phantom cable, so it allows ease of use of the mouse without it feeling kind of like it's being weighed down, especially by the rigidity of like normal cables. So download the Rocket Swarm, play around the settings, customize it, have fun. Overall, I really do like this mouse. It's really easy to set up and configure if I need to. The design is clean. The 75 grams of weight feels really free flowing when you're moving it around. The long wireless battery life is really great. And I really do like the fast charging option because sometimes they're not responsible enough and I don't remember to charge it. It's currently priced at $129.99 right now. Again, if you're interested for a more lighter weight one and you don't mind it being wired, there is the Cone Pro, which is priced at only $79.99. Also, if you're interested, we're gonna do a little demonstration of what this actually sounds like so you know.
Okay. All right, thank you so much for watching up to this point. I hope you found this helpful, maybe entertaining. If so, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I stream on Twitch, so feel free to stop by, say hello. Let me know if you're from YouTube and what video brought you over there. Cool comments are appreciated. I will see you in the next video. And if you're new here, it was nice to meet you. <laughs> Sorry, I had to.